Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nilesh Kumar Singh and we are getting started with a brand new tutorial series about one of the automation testing tool called as UFT. Now UFT is basically known as Unified Functional Testing and it is a product of MicroFocus currently. Of course, a lot of you may be knowing this tool as QTP as well, which was earlier called as QTP. Uh, the full form of QTP was Quick Test Professional and it was a product of HP Dev. Before that, this was also a product of Mercury Interactive where HP took over this product from Mercury and then finally it was handed over to Microfocus uh, to take over and do the further advancement of the same. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about how to basically automate certain tests, understand what exactly automation is all about and how exactly a simple tester can become automation tester using these tool. Now this tool is very user friendly, so I'm just getting started with this one first and then I'll follow up with more other testing tools coming up next on this channel. I hope this tutorials will be really helpful just like any other tutorials for you. So if you are interested to becoming an automation tester from the functional point of view, you can definitely look forward to the series and have great tutorials to explore yourself that how exactly automation is done, what are the basic concepts involved and what are the effort required by an automation tester in order to automate a test for a particular application. So today we are talking about the introduction to UFT, which will guide you through what UFT is all about and what kind of features UFT has. The very next tutorial will talk about the interaction with the UFT. So let's get started and understand the same today. As part of this tutorial, we will be understanding introduction to UFT, why UFT is important, and what are the advantages of UFT for being used as an automation testing tool? To begin with, the very first thing here to talk about is what is UFT? UFT, which stands for Unified Functional Testing, is basically an automated testing tool which is going to help you to automate your test cases and reduce your repetitive tasks, in fact, reduce your manual interaction and manual efforts required in testing. Mainly, UFT is used for functional and regression testing, but does not allow you to do any such other things right related to non-functionality of an application. But that cannot be called as a limitation of the product because each tool is meant for a specific reason. This basically helps testers to execute automated tests in order to identify any errors, defects, or gaps in contrary to the expected results of the application under test. It was designed by Mercury Interactive initially and then later was acquired by HP. Finally, this product lies with MicroFocus in its complete format. The full form, as I told you earlier, stands for Unified Functional Testing. Why UFT? It is definitely a very important thing to understand that why I should make a book make use of a particular tool in order to make use of it. So what could be the salient features of UFT in order to make use of it? And how does it make UFT to be different from other automation testing tools? So it is an icon-based tool that automates the regression and functional testing of an application, which generally means that it has a perfect UI design for a user and becomes more user-friendly compared to other open source softwares. Now people can just get started with this tool soon after installing of this particular software. You don't really have to have a good understanding of programming initially to start working. You can definitely make use of the menu related toolbar options to get started and start recording and replaying the scripts. Later, you can definitely spend time to understand how to write your own frameworks by using the VB script as the language. UFT makes use of VB script as the language and does support accepting inputs from the user directly. So both technical as well as non-technical testers can use MicroFocus UTP, which now is called as UFT. So formerly, the tool was called as QTP, which stands for Quick Test Professional. It provides both the features, record as well as playback. We can test desktop as well as the web-based applications. It also allows business process testing. UFT testing is based on scripting languages. VB script. So if you have good understanding of VB script, you can be great at the automation using the UFT. MicroFocus 
UFT used VP Script to automate applications. It supports the largest pool of software development environments like SAP, Oracle, Sybil, Citrix, and many other platforms. So generally, you are supposed to select the right set of add-ins or set of protocols before you start working on a particular test. It also helps the testers to perform an automated functional testing uninterrupted, which basically means that it can go ahead and execute tests on the local as well as cloud environments. Further to add, we talk about the advantages of UFT. It generally supports report and playback, which is like a user can go ahead and record, start recording and do the necessary playback of the script again. It uses an active screen to record script and helps tester in referring the screen object properties even after the recording is complete. It has excellent object identification process or mechanism which makes your job more convenient when working with different type of objects on an application. So be it a text box, be it a drop down, be it a radio button, it can just work with anything. It supports different add-ins like Oracle, Java, SAP, .NET, or you know, Web Forms, PeopleSoft, and many other things which we just spoke about, and more will be looking when we start working practically with it. It allows you to enhance the existing test even without AUT through an active screen. That means even if you don't have access to the application, you can get going with preparation of the script, and you can start writing them and run them only when the application comes. So it does not completely rely on the application to begin with preparation of these scripts. It also supports automation frameworks, including keyword-driven framework, modular testing framework, data-driven framework, and hybrid framework. It comes with an inbuilt IDE, which makes your convenience more simpler to interact with it and definitely work on it. It can be integrated with test management tools like ALM, which was earlier called as Quality Center. And then we also had a tool called as Windrunner, which was a product of Mercury again. But the only reason we are highlighting it is because it is no longer existing as it was retired right at the 8.0 version. So we do not have any instances of Windrunner live into the market. Different types of suits like smoke regression sanity can be easily maintained. It also supports our XML reporting and XML data import and export. Test reporting is possible through UFT for analysis purposes. You can generally uh, generate a great reports uh, within the tool itself. You don't need any external add-ins to be installed or enabled to do that. And of course, it is easy to maintain the scripts as it is well structured throughout the entire test. Moving into the last thing to talk about from the introduction of this particular tool, that is features in latest version. So there are a lot of modification which does pay, take place at every single version when they release it. And today we are talking about some of the new features being introduced. So supports for the oper operating system and browsers. It supports Windows 8.1 and Windows Server 2. Uh, 2012, and also comes with a new version which basically supports Windows 10 as well. But yeah, there are certain patches which need to take care of. UFT extension in Chrome Store, that is, it receives updates automatically on Chrome because it has an extension enabled within the Chrome browser itself. So you can just install that and take care of all your necessary updates from the UFT. It also supports uh, for Windows runtime objects, like record and run test on your Windows runtime application, create object repositories with Windows runtime applications. Also, newly supported technologies include JDK 1.8, uh, Zen Desktop 7, SAP Web Dyn Pro, ABAP, or for NetVivo 7.0, and so on. Extended support for various technologies include recognize and interact with objects from Sybil Web applications, SAP applications, etc. New flex table test object methods available for advanced data grid controls. So these are some of the things which we generally try to make sure that it meets up to the market. And if you see that it has so many features and definitely the advantages of the tool, which makes it more competitive in the market and people prefer to make use of it due to the most important thing of the tool, which is user friendliness. And I'm sure definitely while going through all of the tutorials hereafter on this tool, you would find it more interesting to understand. And there can be a need of UFD at any point of time when you start interacting. So. That's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.